Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how you can create an assignment in Canvas. We're going to start from your subject page. You're going to go up and click on manage subject. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to be over here to your left. You're going to see um, a menu of choices. We're going to go up to assignments and click on that. All right, we're now going to create a new assignment up here with the blue rectangle. Add the plus sign. And this is the page you will come to. It's going to want you to give it an assignment name. I'm just going to call it test assignment for the sake of this demonstration. This um, text box is where you will put any directions, instructions, information, links that you want the students to have. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to just make up an assignment using an Envisions workbook page. So I'm just going to put number one. I would like them to complete the Envisions workbook page below, and that's where it would show up. Oops, and submit it. Meaning I would like them to turn it in to me. When they're done, I'm going to have them play one of the Envision math games that's located in the game center. So let's see. Um, oops. When you are finished, play math fluency, if you will. Really and what I'll do here is actually link to the game itself. So I'm going to highlight, go up, click on the link, in the link, put Command V, and now I have a link there. So those are my instructions. I'm going to scroll down. I'm not going to pay any attention to points. I'm leaving that alone, and I'm going to keep assignments as assignments. I'm not creating any specific group of students that need to take this assignment. It's a regular assignment. Over here, um, we are not using letter grades or GPAs um, or percentages at the elementary level. So what I keep my assignments on is complete or incomplete, and I can keep track of who or who does not do them. I'm not going to check this box. Now, over here is where you get a variety of choices. This can be an online assignment, which in this case it is going to be because it's on Canvas. I could say I'd like you to do it and not worry about submitting it. You could do the assignment on paper, or you could choose an external tool. And what that would mean is you would go out to maybe a third party program, such as the ones we would find in class link and like a brain pop activity. And you could tell them to go there and do something in that realm is also. Once you decide on what type of assignment it is going to be, you have to decide how you want them to um, submit it to you. Um, if it is an online assignment and you are offering a number of different choices, you're going to want to check all the boxes. Um, so that they have the opportunity to submit something in that particular way to you. I mean, you do not have to. You can just leave it as a text entry. You only want them to tell you something in writing, um, or they could create something in with the media recordings. It would be they could record their voices or make a video. I'm actually going to have them do a, a student annotation because I want them to work on the um, Envisions workbook page right here. So I would have to go and get that for them. So I have already uploaded it into a folder on my computer. Click. And I put it in the September Academy for me. So I'm going to click on the Envisions workbook page and it would be any um, workbook page or um, activity that you've designed for them or you've gotten from one of our programs that we use in the district. And I click there. All right, I'm going to move on down. I'm going to give them unlimited attempts on the assignment. I'm not going to 
click group assignment because then they would not be able to do annotations on the workbook page at all if I did that. Um, you have the option of letting them comment on each other's work. Scrolling down again, it goes to everybody in the class. The due date, for the sake of this one, I'm going to have to say today if I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but you can schedule your assignments for the future so you don't have to be doing them the night before. If you have a planning period and you want to work on multiple assignments, you can create them all at once. You can even decide what time of day they will be released. So I'm just going to say today, and I'm going to leave it at that. And now I'm going to save it. I'm not publishing this quite yet. All right. So now here's my confirmation. I'm going to look up, complete the Envisions workbook page below, and submit it to when you're finished, play math fluency game. And you can see when I do click on that link, Fluency Games is about to begin. It does take me Press to the game. Key or click your mouse to begin. So to give you an idea what that looks like in student view, I'm going to make sure I publish the page because if you don't put publish, it's not going to allow you to see that as a student. And this is what it will look like for them. Here we go. So they will, here's where I wrote in that text box with the instructions and the link to the math game that I created. Here happens to be that um, workbook page that was a PDF that I uploaded in all of the Envision's um, grade level resources. Do you have this available to you? I actually found this one online. So the kids can, if they wanted to work right on here, they would click on the text tool. They can draw on this, they can comment on this, they can paint on this, they can do all sorts of things. They can make the um, information larger and smaller, depending on what they need. So if I clicked on text and I went down here, I could click here and there's a box and I could put in the numbers and um, start to work once the kids are done. If you remember, I asked them to submit their assignments to me, and that's what they would do here. Submit assignments, and I would get notification, or you will get notification that their assignment is done and waiting for feedback from you. And I'm going to leave this, and that is how you make an assignment.